Welcome back to another fascinating journey into the intriguing world of ancient Rome. In today's video, we're diving headfirst into the realm of the bizarre and extraordinary as we uncover 10 crazy things the ancient Romans actually did. From peculiar customs to downright eccentric practices, get ready to be amazed by the lengths to which the Romans went in their quest for entertainment, health, and power. So, buckle up and prepare to be astounded. 10. Romans drank gladiator blood to cure epilepsy. In ancient Rome, some people believed that drinking the blood of gladiators could make them healthier. They thought it could cure sicknesses like epilepsy, a condition that causes seizures, and infertility, difficulty having babies. So, Roman doctors actually told their patients to drink gladiator blood as a treatment, but here's the thing, gladiator blood was expensive. Not everyone could afford it. So, if you couldn't pay for gladiator blood, you could buy the blood of a prisoner who had been executed instead. People believed it would work just as well, looking back, it seems like a bit of a scam, doesn't it? Imagine paying a lot of money for something that might not even help you feel better. That's why some folks might say it was a ripoff. 9. Purple clothing was all the rage, purple clothing was incredibly popular and held in high esteem, especially among the Romans. However, not everyone could wear purple clothing, it was reserved exclusively for Roman emperors. The unique and vibrant shade of purple was produced from a special process that involved the use of murex seashells. This method of producing purple dye was not only complex but also quite expensive, making purple garments a symbol of wealth and power. As a result, there was a strict rule in place that made it illegal for anyone other than the emperor to wear clothing that was completely purple. If someone other than the emperor was caught wearing entirely purple attire, it would be considered a serious offense. It's interesting to think about how different things would have been if characters like Barney the Dinosaur, who is known for his purple color, had existed back then. It's likely that his appearance would have caused quite a stir. 8. Roman women thought unibrows were attractive, in ancient Rome, the beauty standards for women were quite different from what many of us might find appealing today. One of the unique trends among Roman women was their admiration for thick, prominent eyebrows, especially those that were so full they nearly joined together in the middle, creating what is commonly known as a unibrow. To achieve this distinctive look, Roman women used to apply a dark powder made from antimony or soot to their eyebrows. This practice was intended to make their eyebrows stand out more boldly and add dramatic flair to their appearance while the idea of striving for a unibrow might not seem attractive to everyone today. It's interesting to note how beauty standards vary greatly across different cultures and time periods. In fact, if the beloved character Bert from Sesame Street, known for his iconic unibrow, had lived in ancient Rome, he might have found himself quite popular among the ladies, given their preference for this particular eyebrow style. This goes to show that beauty truly is in the eye of the beholder, and what one era or culture might consider unattractive, another might celebrate as the height of fashion. 7. Roman emperors consumed every known poison in order to gain immunity, Roman emperors had a rather unique strategy when it came to safeguarding themselves against the threat of being poisoned, they deliberately consumed small quantities of every poison known to them at the time. This practice was believed to build up their immunity, protecting them from potentially lethal doses. The concoction they ingested was called Mithridatium, named after its inventor, Mithridates the Great, who was convinced he had found a way to make himself immune to nearly all poisons. Mithridates the Great was an ancient ruler who, legend has it, tested this theory on himself, believing that if he could survive small amounts of various poisons, he would be protected against assassination attempts through poisoning. Remarkably, Mithridates lived into his 80s, which might suggest there was some effectiveness to his method. Alternatively, it's possible that he was simply fortunate enough to avoid lethal poisoning. This intriguing approach to building immunity reflects the lengths to which Roman emperors would go to ensure their survival and maintain their grip on power. 6. Wealthy Romans did something gross to keep an appetite, wealthy Romans had a rather peculiar way of enjoying their extravagant feasts that might make your stomach turn. Brace yourself. 
During their opulent banquets that stretched on for hours, these elite folks indulged in copious amounts of food until they were stuffed. But here's the twist, to make room for more delicious dishes, they would intentionally induce vomiting. Yes, you read that right. After gorging themselves, they'd regurgitate their food so they could continue feasting without feeling too full. Quite a bizarre practice, wouldn't you say? 5. Roman women loved dyeing their hair, in ancient Rome, women had a strong fondness for coloring their hair. This trend was incredibly popular, particularly with shades of red and blonde being the most sought after. Achieving these vibrant colors involved using a variety of ingredients and techniques. Some common fixings included goat fat, beechwood ashes, henna, saffron, and bleach. It's fascinating to note that even in ancient times, people were experimenting with different methods to change their hair color, a practice that continues to this day. 4. A horse can be a politician, oh, you won't believe this. There was a horse named Incitatus, and it was like royalty in ancient Rome. Its owner, Caligula, treated it like a king, providing it with a fancy marble stable and even an ivory trough to eat from. But here's the kicker, Caligula actually tried to make this horse a politician. Can you imagine? It's almost as if he thought the horse could do as good a job as some of the politicians we have today. 3. Romans didn't use soap, during the time of the Romans, cleanliness was highly valued, but they didn't rely on soap like we do today. Instead, they had a different method. They would put scented oils on their skin and then use a special tool called a strigil to scrape it off along with any dirt or grime. It's like using a scraper instead of soap to get clean, which might sound a bit uncomfortable to us now. 2. Cosmetics worn by women were very smelly, in ancient times, the cosmetics that women used often had a very strong and unpleasant smell. To deal with this problem, the ancient Romans came up with a clever solution. They started using various pleasant scents that they extracted from flowers, plants, and seeds. These natural fragrances were then mixed into a kind of cream, which was made from different fats and oils. This helped to mask the bad smell of the cosmetics, to make these scented creams even more effective and enjoyable, the Romans added some exotic spices to them. Ingredients like myrrh, frankincense, cardamom, and cinnamon were chosen for their strong and delightful aromas. By adding these spices, the Romans were able to create a range of scented cosmetics that not only hid the unpleasant odors but also left the women smelling of exotic and luxurious fragrances. This practice shows how innovative the ancient Romans were in improving the quality and appeal of their cosmetics. 1. Romans used urine to wash their clothes, have you ever wondered how people in ancient times kept their clothes clean? Well, the ancient Romans had a rather unique method, they used urine. Yes, you heard that right. Urine was utilized because of the alkali it contains, which helped in the washing process. So, Roman dry cleaners would go around collecting urine from different places in the city. It might sound strange to us now, but back then, it was considered a clever way to get the job done. However, most of us would agree that it's definitely a bit gross. And there you have it. 10 unbelievable examples of the wild and wacky antics of ancient Rome. From gladiator blood to lavish feasts, it's clear that the Romans were a civilization like no other, full of surprises at every turn. We hope you enjoyed this journey through history and that it left you with a newfound appreciation for the incredible ingenuity and eccentricity of the ancient Romans. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating insights into the past. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.